Well, hallelujah, Sally Mae. I finally got it in there. That may be my intro. It's a charm life, innocence wild. Gray all the skies for a thousand miles. It's a good life in the happily ever after. Last page of the very last chapter. It's the story of a charm life. Hi guys, thanks for stopping in for the daily vlog. I am so disappointed. I just did an unboxing for what I thought was my camera. I ordered all of my camera stuff all together, you know, so you would think that it would come all together. I got the tripod today. I am expecting a package tomorrow, though, so that should be the camera, I hope. Right now, I am opening this. We did an unboxing for it earlier, too, that I'll post. These are wonderful. I have had one for years. Let's see, and I still got it. I have taped it together and still tried to use it. You know, what I always say, where there's a will, there's a way. So, I guess I've had this thing for eight years now, at least. And I have used it every day that I have driven anywhere. And it's wonderful. So you just plug our real plug, it's cigarette lighter to real plug, and you can use the USB. I hardly ever use the USB unless someone is also in the car and wanting to charge their phone. But that's what I use it for is to charge my cell phone. I use my fast charger so that if I'm out on a road trip and I want to listen to like Spotify or something like that or... Um, going to Nashville or whatever and need directions. Okay. Now what's the dealio here? Why is this not just going right in? Dude. Is there something you push? Okay, I've not ever had one where you just didn't just plug it right on in. What in the world? Okay, I have to be missing something here. Why will this not work? I don't know if you can tell. I'm not crazy. See those little silver things there? Those should release and let the plug in or they should not be there to begin with. Yeah, see, like, that one does not have that. Huh. So, did Walmart.com sell me a dud? It kind of looks like it. Dude, this is so not cool. It's so not... <laughs> the way I wanted to start my day even though my day is starting at 4 o'clock in the afternoon <sighs> yeah that's not right I don't know what I can do about it either I mean there's not any little button to release anything or any plastic or any way of pulling anything off to reset anything at this point, I'm even really afraid to stick it in the thing there. Hmm. Let's do this and see if it even works. And if it doesn't work at all, then Walmart is going to... Yeah, you can't even get this in there. There it goes. That one went in there. Maybe Will's stronger and can push it in there or something. So let's see. So I'm going to plug this in here. 
So I gotta pull you guys off. Ooh. Let's see what we can get here. Okay. So until I really cut this off, I can't tell if it's working right or not. Anyways, right off, bad product review for this. Don't buy a Cyber Power road trip. I wish I hadn't ripped the box open. I just knew it was going to work and be perfect. Put this right here. Okay, so I did get the plug in there. You have to have muscles to do that, apparently. I got it in there, so we're good to go. I take my bad review back. Buy it if you have muscles. It is 4.07. Will should be here. I don't know, he gets home anywhere between 4.30 and 5.30, depending on traffic. I have to go to get the dogs some food, or they will be out tomorrow. So I'm gonna run to Fred's. Do you guys know what Fred's is? I will tell you. It's a discount store, and they have some pretty neat stuff there. I'm gonna try to do a walkthrough video. It's usually pretty busy. It's over on the other end of town, so we've got to... Ooh, that car was over in the wrong lane. That's a little old lady on her cell phone. I know I talk about people on their cell phone all the time. I think that's kind of ironic considering that I'm mounting you guys to my sun visor and talking to you on mine. I think here in Tennessee though they're about to pass a law where everything has to be by speakerphone that you're not going to be able to hold your phone in your hand and talk or you're going to get a ticket. So that's coming up here in Tennessee. They're talking about it right now. Not a lot going on today. It's a beautiful day out as far as temperature wise. It's 73 but the breeze is really nice but I think we're going to have some rain here before the night's over. Will and I are going to go out and eat somewhere to celebrate the big 45 for him. I don't know where he's going to want to go. So I may come home and change and then go do that. But I kind of want to do this walkthrough video at Fred's just because it's some place different than I've ever done that with you guys. And if that goes well, then we may do some of these at different stores until the Dollar Tree restocks. I'm pretty good to go. I'm looking for that pom-pom keychain still, and if I like this fat hair stuff, for some reason after I talked to you guys about it last night, I kept calling it fat head. So, it's fat hair, but if I like that, then I will buy some more. I don't think that's going to be a long-term thing to get there either, though, so you better grab it if you see it. For the past two days, I've been using that TGI Pro hairspray that everybody was talking about. And, you know what? I don't think it does any better than any other spray. If I'm going to use, like, just a, a um, drugstore spray, then I grab, like, Tresemme or something like that. And, I don't know, I think it maybe had a little bit better hold than this stuff. But I have two bottles of it, so I'm going to use it either up or use it as a spare. I don't know. We'll break out that fat hair and see how that does. Not, oh look, oh I hope you can see this pink van coming. Oh, did you see it? I need to paint this van pink. Ooh, a robin's egg blue. Hmm, I wonder what my family would think about that. Well, it would be like I'm never riding anywhere with you again. I wish you could see the other side of what we're about to come up on. We're going around our public square, town square in Lebanon, Tennessee. 
and we have an old movie theater. Capitol Theater is right here on the corner, and they have redone this building, and they have special events there, and then they show movies every now and then. They're getting ready to show Grease in like mm, a week or so, and we're planning on gonna, coming to see that. I haven't seen a movie in there ever. Of course, my mother would have went there as a child to see movies, so that's fun. And I'm looking forward to that. Maybe we can tape some. I know they won't let us tape like during the movie, but maybe we can do some other things. That would be great. Okay, well, I'm going to cut the phone off here for a little bit. Um, I'm like two blocks away from where I'm going. I need to stop by the post office next door to Fred's and drop in some letters to be mailed. And then I probably won't talk during the video but we'll do a walk through and see if they have anything today so here's the deal this is what we're looking for in Fred's I need dog food mainly while we're coming but in their sales flyer I noticed welcome mats for three dollars and up and one of the welcome mats looked like it had the Louis Vuitton um, pattern. Oh my gosh, I love this color hat. How cute. Okay, so yeah, we won't be shopping here much and doing stuff. People are crazy. Yeah, they're cute though. I want these two chairs to put on my patio. Those are cute. Oh, I really like this too, but I don't think it's dirty enough for me. Y'all know I'm all about that color. Guys, they really have cute patio furniture at awesome prices. That's four pieces. Oh my gosh, guys, if you do anything with vinyl, then these cups would be a great price at 10 bucks. The only thing about these, though, is, guys, is you can't put them in the dishwasher. Cute little pillow. How sweet. I think that's what my shirt says, too, today. They have the best pillows here. If nothing else, you can use them to stuff them and get your forms that you can use these with. And they're usually like right around $10. This is the neatest thing. Look at that. So cool. This is a 17 by 17 mermaid silver black. 10 bucks, y'all. Can't beat that. Think of all the fun you would have. I just have to show y'all all the pillows. They're just too cute. I can't just keep pulling them out and picking and choosing. So look at that one. That one's like vinyl looking though. And if this was in a different color, that would be cute on a little girl's bed. Well, we're out of luck on the Louis Vuitton welcome mat, but look, I found a gray Mickey Mouse. Oh my gosh, how cute. It almost makes me want him. How cute are these? They're little storage things. This would be a great clothes hamper for my room because my headboard would match that. I'm not crazy about the wicker though for my bedroom. They always have the cutest little lamps here. People are walking by me, I guess they think I'm talking to myself. Security probably wonders what I'm doing too. Look at that, is that not cute? Let me just show you all the lamps and stuff. This is like the biggest overlooked session, section here at Fred's. Look, there's a china cabinet down there. It's on sale, I think, for $99 right now. It's worth $119. It looks just like mine at home, except mine was a lot more expensive. And that one's more square. That's cute. So anyways, look at these lamps, how cute. They have lots of that blue color that I like. But I'm just loving that. I wish they had two of them. Those two chests we were just looking at are $50. Well, the bigger one is, and that lamp is $50. So it would be $100 for a pair. They always have the cutest pictures here. And little signs. That one right there would be cute in my mom's bathroom. Ooh, I like this. There's a coffee one. This is my happy place. This is what I need every time I go to Starbucks. I need to take a picture of that. Those are really cute. I thought I was filming and I wasn't, so I'll have to do this again. Y'all, the people up in the store are crazy. One old woman was screaming at her husband up front. Another lady putting her man in place. I just wanted to walk by her and say amen. Ooh, I like that. Just $19. That's not a bad price at all.
If that were not purple, that would be right key for a bathroom. Do I need that? These are cute. There's a gold one. These would be cute. The storage stuff for office supplies. have the cutest plaques and signs and baskets. Okay guys, so let's get out of this parking space here and then I can talk. Um, not crazy about our walk through a Fred's. I mean, they had some cute things. They weren't as stocked as they normally are when I've been in here in the past. But, make sure nothing's coming. But they didn't have a whole lot today. And crazy people were in there. Like one lady was screaming at her husband at the front door. Another lady was on the phone talking fairly loud, telling, her man that she's been thinking about this all day long and he needs to go his way and she needs to go hers. You know, if I'm ever in that situation where I have to have that conversation up in the middle of Fred's, just shoot me, you know? So, we probably won't do that again, but you know, it's something different. We'll try different places. I've never really been somewhere and filmed where you could compare prices like that. Like the Dollar Tree, you can't, you're not in there comparing prices. Everything's a dollar, obviously. So, you know, I don't know what these stores policies are and all that kind of stuff. But anyways, that was something different. And they did have some really cute signs and things. So we have video of that that we'll show and some pictures. And we'll put something together for that while we're waiting for the Dollar Tree, our favorite place, to restock. I did check while I was in there. They had Fabuloso. Their Fabuloso, for a smaller bottle than what you get at the Dollar Tree, is a dollar. They have bigger bottles than the Dollar Tree from $2 and $3, which were on sale today for $2.75. But they did not have any of that... Um, special edition pink so I didn't get any of that so all I ended up with today they didn't have our Louis Vuitton looking rugs that were in the sales paper but I did get my dog food and I did get a little something to stick in my mother's Mother's Day stuff she watches my videos now so I can't when I get her stuff I can't show it or she'll know it beforehand because I like to buy it you know like way in advance and put all the packages together and that kind of stuff. I wonder if you can block and then unblock. I had a blocker when I make something or buy something to, for her and then do a video on it. Well, we're on our way home. Will has apparently been there. I figured he would text me when he got home because I had told him before he left work I was going to run to Fred's and 
So he just texts me back and said, well, you said be home at the normal time. Next time I'll be more specific. Be home at the normal time and text me when you get there or call me. I was just killing time walking around in there. My back's starting to give out though and my feet were starting to get tired so it was going to be time to get out of there soon enough anyways. And I thought, well I better text him. He should have done it home by now. Sure enough, he said, I've been here. Man, you can't live with them and you can't shoot them and get away with it. I'll go home and give him lots of kisses though. It's his birthday. I'll let him pick where he wants to eat dinner. We will check back in before we sign off for the night. This is just our daily vlog and so it's segmented. And this is our afternoon segment, I guess. Happy birthday. He just wants me to hurry up so he can take another bite. Hey guys, so we're just going to finish up our nightly vlog. We went out to dinner, um, and you'll see right before this, we had a really, really good dinner at Chili's. We hadn't been there in a while, and that's where we wanted to go for his birthday. They have some kind of new dessert. It's some kind of berry crumb cake. If you get the chance, you guys need to try that out. It was good. So that was the way we finished up our night. I am home. I'm putting together this video. So I just wanted to finish up the nightly vlog. I got a text message earlier though. So this was a good way to end the night. I have a friend that I have known practically all my life. Since 7th grade. And I haven't talked to her in about 2 years. So I get this text. And it says this is friend is this still your number you know and I thought oh no I was telling my mother I was sitting in her living room with her and I was telling her I said oh no I think Brandy's getting ready to tell me something bad and she just wanted to make sure it was the right number before she told somebody some bad news you know and um I said oh I'm fine it, yeah it is you know how are you and she's like oh I'm good I'm good she said I just have wanted you to know that I have been off all social media for a while and I only watch like YouTube and I have come across your videos and I thought oh my gosh that's just so awesome so anyways hi Bran love you miss you come and see us so we'll be looking forward to that you said you'd call this weekend I'm gonna hold you to it we'll go do Starbucks or something or just come hang out here you know you don't have to have an invitation just come but for me, guys, that's it for tonight. I'm going to put all this together from our walkthrough from earlier today and show you guys. And then, hopefully, I don't think my camera's actually coming until Friday. So you saw just the little bit of the unboxing of the tripod in the beginning. Um, I'm so disappointed about that. But I finally did get my little charger thing that I hauled and said for y'all not to buy to work. You just have to be very strong to push it in the hole. But it did work. And it works perfectly. So I take back my bad review. Go buy that. Or buy something similar to that. I love mine. But that's it guys. I'm about ready to go to bed. It's already almost 11 o'clock. And I haven't been sleeping a lot lately. I edit these videos and put them together. Generally at night. Like late at night. So I need to start going to bed earlier. So I'm going to attempt to do that. Now having said that. That's usually... You know, it'd be like 4 o'clock in the morning before I ever go to bed now. But I just wanted to say hi to Brian. I was excited about that. And to tell you guys that we probably won't do Fred's again. That was wild. So I'm going to put some music behind that to hopefully drown out the crazy. Yeah. So guys, that's it for tonight. Hope you're having a good one. I'll see you guys tomorrow sometime. Well, hallelujah, Sally Mae. Finally got it in there. That may be my intro.